back, Family Change Agents and People of God. And if you're watching for the first time, I'd like to give you a big welcome as well. I'm Tan Rich, and I'm here to encourage and empower you and to share today's message of what God would have me to share with you. Please like, subscribe, and share as you're coming in. Also, if you're able to let me know where you're watching from, I'd be very interested to see where people are tuning in from. So with that having been said, let's get started with today's video. Okay, the title of today's video is Your Peace is Your Power, okay? And so I'm excited about this video because I really feel that whatever environment you're in, it is essential to have peace in your life in your space, in your living atmosphere, at your job, wherever you interact with others, peace is absolutely necessary. And so in saying that, there are a few things that we can do to make sure that we have peace in our space, in our environment, where we live, and other places that we interact. And so one of those things that you can do is to guard your space. Like you may be living in an apartment or you may be living in a house and you have to guard that space. We cannot let every spirit into our environment. And things that are contrary to peace happen to be spirits. And so when you get bad vibes and bad spirits circulating in your atmosphere, that is damaging to you. It is damaging to your inner self. It slows your day, it changes your mood, it is not a positive vibe. And so that's why I wanted to focus on this this morning. Another thing that you can do is check out the energies that are around you. You know, you have those people that smile often and those people that are happy people and positive people. And you know what you can expect when you interact with those people. You can expect that something good is going on or something positive is about to be shared. Those are the spirits that you want around you. Those are the people that you want in your inner circle. You want those people in and out of your home. But then you have the opposite of that. You have those people who, you know, are in bad moods, not just occasionally, but often. And they bring that vibe and they bring that spirit around you and it gets deposited in your space. That is not healthy for your environment. It is not healthy for you. And so it means that we have to be aware of the people that we entertain, the people that we allow in our space, and the contacts and interactions that we participate in. Because we are in charge of what comes around us, who we allow to enter our space, and the interactions that we choose to have with others or we choose to walk away from. And so if something around you doesn't feel right, or someone around you doesn't feel right, if they don't feel positive, if they don't feel like a healthy spirit, you know, you're probably right. You're probably right. It's a gut feeling. Some people call it intuition and you have to pay attention to your intuition. There are some people that are just not positive, good spirits, which takes away from a person's peace. And that is not what we want to have. We want to maintain our peace. We want to maintain our tranquility. We want to maintain an environment that we want to come home to and that we want to be in. And so we have to do certain things to make sure that those things stay in place and intact. You also have to remind yourself that your job is to live, love, and laugh, okay? Your job is not to have drama coming into your household. Your job is not to, you know, be the referee for someone else's problems or someone else's difficulties with other relationships that they may be having. You are not the referee. You are not the person, the fix it person. <laughs> you know, you're not the maintenance man or woman. And so you have to make sure that you're doing all this in your power to maintain that inner peace that God has granted to you and that you thrive with. And so you have to do that. So some of the things that you can focus on is what are some of the things that you're trying to elevate in your life? Because you certainly need peace for elevation. If you're in a spirit of aggravation, unhappiness, uh, walking on eggshells, that is contrary to peace. And you are attempting to level up and elevate in your life. You are attempting to live your best life. And that is something 
that you have the right to do. And that is something positive and beneficial to your mental health, to your physical health, and to your spiritual health. And so some of the things that you might be trying to focus on as you go to Elevate, it could be your finances, it could be your career, it could be your parenting style, it could be your family life, it could be your prayer life. Maybe it's personal development. Maybe you want to go back to school. You certainly need peace to do your coursework, to go through your classes, to engage with your classmates. You need peace. And so you have to know that it's essential, that you need to be happy. And in being happy, you have to have a strong cutoff game. If someone is coming around you and they're bitter and they have this air about them of constant unhappiness, and you feel like every time they leave, they dump something off on you or dump something off in your space, and now your whole mood for the day has changed, no, cut that off. Use your cutoff game, okay? That's somewhere you need to use your cutoff game. The Bible even speaks of peace, family of God. In Matthew 5, verse uh, 9, it says, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. So it is a blessing, change agents, to have peace in your life. It is a goal to have and maintain your peace. It also says in Psalm 29, 11, that the Lord gives strength to his people and the Lord blesses his people with peace. That's another confirmation that peace is your portion and it is a blessing. It is a gift from God and any gift from God deserves to be protected and cherished. The last Bible scripture that I want to share with you that talks about peace is, if it is possible, as far as depends on you, live at peace with everybody. And that comes from Romans 12, verse 18. Live at peace with everybody. When you venture out, let a person feel better after encountering you than feel worse. And that's the same for what comes into your space. If the person can't make you feel better when they leave your space, they don't need to be in your space. It just is what it is. So once again, you want to guard that space. You want to check all energies. You know light from darkness. If it's a light energy, yes, you're welcome in my space. If it's a dark energy, that, that energy needs to go elsewhere because you are about the business of maintaining your peace, okay? Take time to recharge, take time to replenish yourself. Do not feel guilty about doing those things. That ties in with self-love and self-care. Take that hot bubble bath, you know? Put that mask on over your eyes before you go to bed at night so you can have a peaceful rest, you know? Do, drink your hot cup of tea, order your pizza, do what it is that gets you calm and adds to your peace. You want to add to your peace. You want to replenish yourself. You want to be at rest. You want to be invigorated to attack your day from the start and get your goals met and pursue your vision and be a success at your dream and at your goals. And so once again, I can't stress enough how important it is to have peace in your life, to maintain that peace, to have a strong cutoff game, getting rid of those people that you encounter that are a threat to your peace. You don't want that. You don't need that in your life. And so I'm going to leave you with be loving, be kind, be aware of who damages your peace, be aware of who's a threat to your peace, and be blessed until the next video. I'm asking you to like the video. I'm asking you to share the video. And I will see you in the next video. And once again, your peace is your power.